He has almost nothing here. Sample it. Oh no! Is it really that bad? It is about to begin the spiciest pepper in India. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we are going on another fun food adventure, this time in Delhi, India, where we are looking for the most spiciest food we can find. We all know that spicy foods and spicy food challenges, it's the best way to burn your stupid face off and an even better way to get views on YouTube. India certainly has some dang spicy food. I don't recommend doing double chilies, I'm dying over here. Today we're doing an all out spicy tour in Delhi. We'll experience three levels of spice, ending with India's hottest chili pepper, the ghost pepper, 200 times hotter than a jalapeno. So you see, oh. the color of the chili is so dark. It is so and red. It's so spicy. <laughs> and as terrifying as this journey will be. Do we even need to do this? Because I'm honestly not even that um, hungry. Luckily, local food blogger Nikita will be by my side to show me how it's done. No, you can't cheat. Why is Indian food so spicy? We love uh, spice in our life. Why to be dull when you can be spicy? That's a good point. Which food are you most excited for today? I really want you to try Bhul Cholakia. That is the spiciest chili available in India. Great. I hardly survived that, so I want to see how you survived. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't say that. We are going to our first location and we are going to try Mirchi Vada. Mirchi Vada is a green chili filled with seasoned and spiced mashed potatoes. It's then coated in a thick batter made from chickpea flour and deep fried like a state fair corn dog. So basically, it's a green chili, it's a big green chili. It's not spicy. It might look spicy to you, but it's not spicy. Now, you might think that the heat would be coming from the green chili itself, but no, it has a sidekick. This is green chili and coriander chutney. This is turmeric chutney. It's a little sweet. And this is the spiciest chutney. It's lassen with red chili. Which is gonna actually be hotter, that green pepper or the red chutney here? This is spicy. This is really, this is pure red chili. Yeah. If anything that's gonna take me down, it's gonna be this fiery red chutney. It looks like a big corn dog. I'm gonna get this nice, refreshing coriander chutney. Do you wanna try some with me? Yeah. And we can take good. a bite of our, our big okay. corn dog. Mmm. Mmm. Great flavor, it's so rich. That is some heavy food. <laughs> the pepper inside, it's like a little warm, but not mm. nothing too spicy in here. The breading on the outside is super thick. Now there's this, this, this one. This is, yes. All right. Let's... Dip it inside, go deeper. Go deeper? Yeah. How's that? Yeah. Will that make Good. you proud of me? Yes. Cheers, I'll break my rule. Mm. I'm fine, everything's I'm fine. I'm fine too. Oh, it's a, oh. <laughs> It takes a second. Is it hot for you? I'm cool. You're, you're cool. <laughs> All right, you're in the zone. Heavy, savory, and full of spice. This was the perfect way to start the day, but we're just warming up. This is the combination. They come like, uh, they're pair. They're, it's like Bonnie and Clyde, or like, who, who are like a good couple that are always together. He and Ranja? Yeah, it's like Bonnie and Clyde, or like here and Ranja. Ranja, yeah. Okay, next location. <laughs> Next, we're kicking things up a notch at Two Indian with their blazing red spicy concoction. I'm in the kitchen with head chef Aman. We are in the restaurant Two Indian, and he's going to talk to me about his special recipe here. What we are doing is we are making lalmas. The basic ingredients of lalmas is the red mathania chili. So you see, oh. the color of the chili is so dark. It is so and red. And it's so spicy. Oh, no. So that, that is why the dish is called lalmas. Your face is going to burn off. Lol, uh, laugh out loud. Uh. Lalmas. Lalmas literally means red mutton. It's a meat curry from Rajasthan. The version made here at Two Indian just happens to be spicy as heck. Do you have any tips on how I can survive this experience? Um. Lal Mas starts with mutton that's marinated in ginger garlic paste, plenty of red matanya chili, a whole host of Indian spices, including chili powder. Finally, yogurt, and the whole mixture marinates for about 45 minutes. Time to fire up the old kadai, throw in some oil and spices, including some more chilies. We add all those raw kada spices. 
I'm like whole spices, cardamom, cumin, uh, bay leaf, cinnamon, big cardamom, green cardamom. We we'll need to add onion, and then we need to have ginger garlic paste again. The uh, marinated mutton. Even more chili powder and other spices are added, and it's cooked on low heat until it becomes this demonic shade of red. Last step: adding a bit of cloves and clarified butter on top of a coal to add a bit of smokiness. Very cool. Location one was just a warm up, but now we're getting into the real thing here. <laughs> it's a little terrifying. Along with the lal mas, we've got some roti and lassi. This is basically a vase of death in here. But luckily, on the side here, we have the lassi. Exactly. Lassi is a blend of yogurt, water, and sugar. Perfect for staving off the heat and adding some balance to heavier Indian meals. We're gonna eat it with some of this bread. This is some romali roti. Romali means handkerchief, everybody. And it's the thinnest roti, roti. in all of India. Okay. Warm up? Yeah, just warm up, just to see what we're dealing with here. Let's go for it. Okay, ooh, it's sneaky. It's good. It actually tastes really amazing. Yeah? The flavors are outstanding. Very warm. All right, let's add a little bit more. That was just a tiny little sample, and I can feel the fire in my chest traveling down to my see stomach. It after like five seconds? Oh, and... I felt it immediately and even more after five seconds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks like a crime scene. The darkest <laughs> blood. blood. I've got my super thin roti right here. I'm just gonna sop up a bunch of this sauce. I'm gonna put some yes, meat exactly. in it. Look at the, the color. The shade of red. It's the shade of death. Death to my taste buds. I'm gonna try even more. Listen, I don't like these shows where they try the spicy food and they're like, oh, I'm just gonna have a little bit. Oh, it's spicy. I'm gonna just really jump into it here. Go for it. Okay. Oh, boom. <laughs> mm. That is spicy, but it's pretty tolerable. The spice is adding flavor and not just heat. Exactly. The heat it builds right, inside yes. you, and there's like a radiating warmth coming from my central <laughs> chakra region. So you don't flavor. even need lassi? Nah, I don't need no lassi. <laughs> Did you eat any? I am, I'm eating. Oh. It's a little <laughs> spicy for you. I heard that. Did you hear that? She was doing that like. <laughs> Thing a little bit. That okay. might be a match for you. Our third destination is still left. That's true. I love it. It's spicy, but it's a welcoming spice. Oh it doesn't bust your door down. It knocks on your door. Mm. It says, may I please come in <laughs> and, and share the good news about spice. You probably need to eat, finish all this. Then I'll have your lessi. Then we talk. <laughs> <laughs> All that remains is going head to head with Nikita as we take on India's hottest pepper. I am with Bunho here at Nagaland food stall number 19. And today, mm. we're gonna be trying the hottest pepper in India. I'll have you know, I just ate some mutton curry and it was seasoned with Rajasthani chili peppers. It was very red. Okay. Is it gonna be more hot than that? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I can assure you. What is the best way to eat this? The best way is uh, in chutney. The taste comes better in chutney. A chutney is basically a ground up sauce. Today's ghost pepper chutney includes five peppers. Each is roasted, then they're ground up with some salt. None of the spiciness is wasted. Like every bit of hotness is going into the chutney. All the seeds, everything is crushed up in there. Oh, good. Some tomatoes are also roasted, skinned, and ground up along with the ghost peppers creating a salsa from hell. He just made the chutney here. He's gonna sample it. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. He's got, he has, he has almost nothing here. Sample it. Oh no! Is it really that bad? Yeah. It's spicy? Oh no, oh, what am I doing? He ate almost nothing. It looks innocent enough, but on the other side of that spoon is a pathway to pain. This genuinely seems like a bad idea. We could just quit, we don't have to do this. We started it. Yeah. That's my fault. <laughs> Our chutney is served simply with some white rice and we're ready to eat. First of all, the owner took a seat like she's going to a movie theater or something. <laughs> she's sitting there ready to watch the show. Yeah. Good. So we're gonna scoop up some rice, yeah? Yes. This is a very simple chutney and I like it because it's gonna be the full flavor of the pepper. There's five peppers inside. Okay. Can we smell it first? You want? Yeah. Okay. It singes the nostrils a bit. It's kind of like gasoline. Oh, okay. Ooh, I don't know why you put that much. Should we try a little first? Or should we just go for it? Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. I just scooped this up. I looked at the owner and she just went uh, like that. A full on bite, the hottest pepper in India. Let's do this. Oh God, Here, cheers. 
Okay. I can feel like there's something there's something wrong. I can feel it too. There's something wrong. <clears throat> oh. I'm like <coughs> I'm on the precipice of going down the roller coaster of spice. Oh, the heat is building, Felix. but it's not stopping. It won't stop. Oh, do you have a tums? <laughs> it is intense pain. I can feel it in my throat. Yeah, it's right in the back of my throat. It touched there directly. How long does it take to go away? Do you know? No, you can't cheat. What is that? It's let's see. No, I won't do it. I got too much pride. It's all in your head. You won't <laughs> die. It won't kill you. In my brain, it's cooking my frontal cortex. Why do people do this? I should have heeded her warning. She literally, I took up the spoon and she was like, no, no. Should we take another bite? I know. Are you crying? Yeah, another bite. <laughs> no, she's adding to mine. I'm starting to feel like high, and I don't just think it's from the hyperventilating. Take another bite. Let's do it. <laughs> Guys watching, you want her to take another bite, right? I'm gonna eat another bite right now. Dang it, we make fun food videos on this show. I'm here to entertain, and I can't feel my face anymore anyways. It doesn't matter. Yeah. How do I look? Do I look good? Um, Ma'am, how long does it take for the pain to go away? A few minutes? That's nothing. This does not compare to any spice I've ever had in my life. It feels like it's literally cooking the inside of my mouth. It feels like my throat is blistering. It's the worst pain in my life. We did it. All right. Boom. Boom. The owner just said if we eat a little bit more of this, the pain will go away. That doesn't add up at all. I don't believe her. Let's get some ice cream and let's jump into the conclusion that we filmed before we ate all this nonsense. Okay. <sighs> Guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is a company in Vietnam putting on amazing tours throughout the entire country. Right now in Saigon, Da Nang, and Hoi An, they do all kinds of tours from food tours, adventure tours, village tours. They have so many cool ways to experience the real Vietnam. For more information on One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. And thank you so much to Nikki Ta for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. And you please check out her Instagram right here. Cut. Bye. Bye. The end. <laughs> Bye. Okay.